Howdy from Arlington, Texas, y'all. Hope this video finds you well. So today I'm going to do a video response for Scott over at Reindeer Studios. I'm getting this in at the very last minute, uh, but I guess you'll have that. So what he was asking was, what would uh, show off your best bargain buy? And I don't know if it's, it might be a product of the way that I collect. Um, but nothing really stood out. Um, I don't think it's not that I'm not a smart shopper, but it's just more maybe, like I said, how I collect, that I really had trouble thinking of something, and then it just kind of came to me a couple days ago, and it actually is related to a video I would have posted within the last couple months. <clears throat> so at the Dallas Card Show, the one that was right before the National, my buddy Gary and I went on Sunday, and... There was a younger guy set up at a table, and he had a bunch of Michael Jordan cards, and he had them for a dollar. So, you know, I took a look, and I grabbed some of the, the 90s ones that, you know, were from sets I remembered, you know, had a good image, something like that. So it was stuff like this. You know, I'm a big fan of these uh, all-star uniforms, so that was one I grabbed. I love Crash the Game cards, so I grabbed that. I love 95 Fleer. I know a lot of people hate it, but I actually love it. So I grabbed that. You know, and this was a hot card when these came out. You know, I was, what, about 13 years old, 13, 14 years old at the time. And all the kids in my grade wanted these slam dunk cards. But none of those are real values. Um, those I, heck, on a couple of those, I may have even overpaid at a dollar. But I did pull out a few cards that when I got... Or I would, I would see a few things, and I was like, those seem like those should be more than a dollar. So I grabbed them. And when I got home, I looked them up, and I was surprised to see some of the prices. And I looked them up again today, and I'm recording this the night before it's released. And, yeah, I mean, I still got a decent deal on some of them. So I feel like this might be, if you think about it, I'm going to show you four cards. And let's just look at it at the same point. I paid $4 for these cards. This one, it looks like on eBay, this Emotion card goes for about $10. So, I mean, spend a dollar for a $10 card, no complaints. Um, who knows, maybe there's some surface stuff or corner stuff, but, you know, I'm not I'm not sending this thing off to grade. It's just to have, because um, I definitely remember this as a set. Not so much from the basketball, but from the baseball end. This one... I looked it up today, and it looks like recent sales go off anywhere from 10 to $20. So it's, uh, what are we here, $96.97. This is the Metal Shredders subset. It's like card 200-something, 251. So it's not the main card. I think this is the one that has the real high dollar value, one that everybody loves. Um, but I paid a buck for this, and like I said, going right on this, it's, it's kind of varied, but it goes from 10 to 20 bucks. So, you know, I looked at that, and like I said, I knew metal. I knew that that stuff uh, had a nice going rate. So this was just a mist. I knew this was a mystery finest. Had no idea, but, I mean, I knew for a buck it was, uh, it was a, good, it was a good, good thing to pick up. And it looks like now these, again, wide range, but can go from, like, 20 to 35. And when I say these prices, I'm looking at raw prices. I'm not looking at graded. But yeah, twenty to thirty-five dollars for a card that I paid a buck for. But the best one, this one's going right now. It seems like from thirty to forty-five. Of course, it depends on you know your image and all those kind of things. This is the Topps Chrome Forty insert. Doesn't look too good because it looks like that. Uh, it's a little definitely had a little wear on the uh, semi-rigid holder, but. Definitely looks like this thing could be wiped down a little bit, um, but again, I'm not super worried about condition or anything like that. But yeah, these bad boys go for thirty to forty-five, and I got it for for a buck. So yeah, these four I would have paid four dollars for them, and going rates anywhere from them in total from what do we got forty from seventy to what we got, eighty ninety. 110, 70 to 110, and I paid four bucks for them. So, 
you know, I never would have bought them at those prices. Um, I'm not enough of a Jordan. I'm not a Jordan collector at all. It's just, I just happen to be a guy that's got a few hundred of them. So these, I'd say, are at least that I can think of, and nothing else stands out, even in my 35 years of collecting. So, um, you know, and I have a pretty good memory, so I guess I haven't really made a lot of good purchases. I didn't want to count anything that I bought 20 years ago that has appreciated. Um, I only wanted to consider something that I got for a good price in that given moment, because um, a lot of things are going to naturally appreciate. I've got a lot of those. But that's what I got. Hope you enjoyed the look. Um, it's the last day of his contest. I believe you have to have it up by 11.59 p.m. tonight. So if this is the first you're seeing of it, go go pull some cards and let's see a video. But that's all I got for you for today. Be smart. Be safe. Don't be a dickhole. And I'll see you down the road.